Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today we will be discussing on how do our activities affect the environment. Okay, so as we are an integral part of, as we are an integral part of environment, Changes in the environment affect us. Changes in the environment affect us and our activities also changes and our activities also change the environment change the environment around us okay so what are the different activities that are done by us affect the environment so we will discuss two main activities first is first is ozone layer and how it is getting depleted okay and the second one is managing the garbage we produce Managing the garbage we produce. So we will discuss the first one in this lecture and the second one in another lecture. Okay. So I am starting the first one ozone layer. Ozone layer. Okay. So ozone is like ozone what is ozone is o3 is a molecule formed by formed by three atoms of oxygen three atoms of oxygen as you can see here that it is o3 while o2 which we normally refer to as oxygen has only two atoms of oxygen so ozone is a deadly poison it is a deadly poison however however at the higher levels of the atmosphere of the atmosphere ozone performs ozone performs an essential function let me uh, delete it students so we will discuss it further at the higher level what ozone does is it shields the atmosphere it heals the atmosphere of the earth from uv rays uv means ultraviolet rays coming from the sun so it is very helpful for us so this radiation is highly damaging to organisms so the uv radiations uv radiations 
आर हाईली डैमेजिंग टू ऑर्गेनिजम्स ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्किन कैंसर इन ह्यूमन बींग्स इज द कोज बाय यू वी रेज स्किन कैंसर इन ह्यूमन बींग्स ओके सो ओजोन एट द हायर लेवल ऑफ द एटमोसफेयर इज ए प्रोडक्ट ऑफ यू वी रेडिएशन एक्टिंग एन ऑक्सीजन मॉलिक्यूल सो वट हैपन्स एट हायर लेवल इज so when uv radiation fall on oxygen so it produce oxygen atom and when this oxygen atom get combines with oxygen molecules it produce ozone okay the amount of ozone that is present the amount of ozone in the atmosphere begin to drop sharply begin to drop sharply in 1980s okay this decrease has been linked to synthetic chemicals like cfcs so the this decrease in the ozone or the depletion of the ozone is mainly because of the cfc this decrease has been linked to synthetic chemicals like cfcs okay chlorofluorocarbons which are used as refrigerants which are used as refrigerants and in fire extinguishers also and in fire extinguishers also so in 1987 UNEP United Nation Environment Program succeeded in succeeded in forging an agreement with forging and agreement to freeze CFC production okay so in 1987 unp unep means united nations environment program succeeded in forging an agreement to cfc production okay so this is how we were depleting our ozone layer which is protecting us from the uv radiations okay so students this is all about how ozone layer and how it is getting depleted and in the next lecture we going to discuss about managing the garbage we produced okay and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this lecture then please do comment in the comment section i will be happy to help you guys there thank you